is the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions. Well, one of the key promises made by candidates prior to the March 18th governorship election was the attention they would pay to the infrastructure, education, health, ETC, especially here in Abia State. Undoubtedly, to achieve these objectives, finance is a key component which could undermine or contribute to the attainment of all of these and more. Maybe that's why the governor of Abia State has elected to adopt the digital tax system as to consolidate on the internally generated revenue of the state and uh, that's amid the birthright federal allocation. Uh, but this system, which is novel, especially as, as long as Abia State is concerned, is what we would want to understand on the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions this morning. So we would want the government to explain their policies in terms of uh, internally generated revenues. My name is Wisdom Thomas, and uh, joining me on the platform to look at this this morning is the Special Advisor on Internally Generated Revenue, Isaac Chimerez Okibwan is live in the studio. Good morning. Good to have you. Good morning. Good to be here too. Thank you. Great. So let's jump on that very conversation, that very decision to adopt the digital tax system in Abia State. Uh, what informed it? What is the brain behind it? Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Um, uh, listeners, good morning as well. Um, okay. Basically, um, if, you, if, you see, if you've been around the state for a period of time, you will notice how um, the revenue administration is done in the states. And um, that uh, has also uh, been a problem because we discovered that the money for the uh, money that Abians pay going to private pockets. And uh, not just that, uh, Abians are meant to pay beyond, well above over what they're supposed to pay. And that becomes a concern for the new administration. So what we did was to see how we can streamline these processes and build a revenue uh, collection journey which involves everybody, where everybody is a stakeholder in it, where um, we have a single process where the home money comes in and also have a single process where the expenditure is also being done. So it's, um, it's a kind of a demand and supply concept around revenue generation, the first of its kind around this uh, area. Okay, let's look at the concept, try, trying to break it down or down to specifics. There were two concepts pointed out there the yeah. permit to operate tickets can you explain what that is oh, all about excellent so okay so what the permit to operate tickets is, it means is that um, for every commercial transport operators in the states um, across the state rather will have um, will have to be onboarded into our tax management application database where everybody's enumerated your details are gotten and also profile you according to the various unions that uh, they claim to be and uh, when this is done we cannot have a control system to control their maintenance and also the security of this has also been uh, also uh, handled and also cleared in that area then um, everybody that every commercial transport operators that have uh, that operate in the state will not have a permit to operate by starting from onboarding the person using the person's biometric details on board you by registering you and the storing database and when that is done you get a sticker that validates that you have been profiled to run this and also generate an identity card for the drivers that also be driving this asset so the first of the first one is that every asset which is every regular asset has to be profiled and also registered and tied to the owner of the asset so for example if a man has uh, overall yes at across the state yes, across doesn't the matter state. if you are d using it for commercial no no commercial commercial now okay commercial specifically now. Commercial. Yes, commercial because the, the private one and the private business one has been taken care of by normal motor vehicle administration policy okay which is there. but for the commercial ones that do operation and uh, transport operations we have to register them and also attach each drive each driver to each of the commercial vehicles so the owner of the um, the asset vehicle asset has the sticker which is uh, pasted on the vehicle uh, an invoice sticker that pasted on the vehicle which is uh, computerized and have uh, some certain kind of um, um, features which I might not be able to explain openly because we have to have a control around this so when that is done um, the driver is also attached to that um, vehicle so in the case where the owner of the vehicle wants to dismiss the driver or the driver needs to dismiss himself and go to fancy next there's also a menu in our application if it's a, if it's a feature that also allow the owner of this uh, 
um, uh, um, was as I said, to also delink the person and also link another person. Also, do that you're using a single code because when you register every driver, there's a code assigned to that driver, and the driver that's the code that he uses to if you want to do any check on that driver, that's the code we're going to use compliance check, you know, payment, and what have you, even enforcement and verification. That's the code we use. So, whenever you register any any um, any driver, any vehicle, and any driver, there's a single code that tied them together. That's what the state's interested in. Now, the other aspect is the innovative trader tax payment it, it appears yeah. that the governor is looking at all areas that is geared towards generation of yeah. revenue so yeah. what is this other one okay so so basically for the market um the traders so um we you see the way it is we're not really increasing anything we're also trying to see how we can reduce and also uh, um put policies and directions around stopping the um the um the constant issue we have around multiplicity of uh, revenue collection by thousand and authorized people. So uh, we, we, we invoke the principle of fairness and convenience in, in uh, tax collection, that principle of taxation. So what we're looking at is that if a trader is supposed to pay a certain amount in a, month, in a year, um, we can say, okay, because of the economic situation in the, in the country and around the state, the, the what's the state that people are passing through, we are going to, we've given approval to split that payment into 12 places. That means you can pay January to December on the monthly basis, equal instrumental. They can also pay quarterly. You can divide the money into four and just pay each of the bulk in the quarterly. Then you also have uh, the convenience of paying half yearly. Divide the money into two and pay it half. And you can also pay a lump sum uh, payment as well. So that's also we also also kind of be into um, to enumerating all the shops in the market and also all the traders in the market because we noticed that in the past people collect money. Even the market union join the uh, present the, the previous administration to collect money from people in this and also squander the money. So now we want to. We get the, the traders to know that this is your market. You have 5,000 shops. We have uh, 6,000 traders in the shop. And this is the amount you're expecting to, to get at every end of the year. And this is the amount they also come to because the governor has also been generous enough to also have a concession for them. So, okay, if you support and do this, this person that go to the market to run market administration, then the funding we are getting, the, the money we are getting from the market is also used to develop the market and also invest in the market, you know, for the sake of uh, that. So, the governor is doing sector based. Um, um, development process where what you get from you is what is also going to be spent for you to improve the generality of uh, the welfare of the printing market. With my little knowledge about computer and digital systems yes. before you float a system, yes. there is that dire need for it yes. to be implemented a kind of test run to find yes. out its viability yes. and the tendency to yes. achieve the intended objective. Yes. Was this done and what was the result uh, like? Is it what pushed the governor? to say okay based on these numbers it is good to go okay so um the the concept around testing the application first of all when it's not uh not i think the, the application is just an application that just went to the moon and pick it up you know the uh, the company that was engaged that that channel that championed it working with our internal people in the internal revenue services there um was also doing this somewhere but not it doesn't have the concept of what we're doing so in the period of building this application we got involved we got um the staff we got the stakeholders involved we also got the transport union involved and also got the the market involved so we'll do some kind of tests you know Currently, we're doing pilots. Okay. Um, um, we've been engaging them. Yesterday, we engaged the transport union for the final phase of what we need to do, and they were okay with it. And I speak to you, when enumeration has already commenced for the transport union, then the traders are also coming today. We are going to meet them, meet with them, and also um, have the final decision around what we want to also do. Then tomorrow, we are also moving into the market to commence the emission process. So it was it was a stakeholder stakeholders uh, involve engagement uh, a concept that we did. Well, to some it is uh, music to the ear. To sure. some it is bizarre, given sure. uh, how it is coming and the fact that it is happening for the very first time in the state. And yes. it's not too many states in the nation that can boast of such a robust measure of yes. revenue collection. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, when is this set to commence? Is there um, a timeline when this would go online, when people would start making these payments? Or their payments via these very DTS. Okay, so you know there is a change management process when you deploy a new technology. Definitely. So that we are going gradually moving into is like a journey process. So we don't want to um, we don't want to um, get people and mandate them to start doing this as at yesterday. Okay. Because the application is ready before the governor launched it, and the town hall meeting was also to 
also get feedback from them and uh, as god may have it if you if you listen to what in the meeting people did not really talk about that because they were happy they were seeing it others what they're interested in what the governor needs to do to also make sure that this money comes in so in terms of uh, commencement like i said it has come in but officially written to the traders and the market people sorry and the uh, transport union that the process commence effectively tomorrow okay that is something very important very key for us to talk about as long as these very dts is concerned is because there are people out there we must agree that we live in a climb where uh, it's a mixed kind of class there are those sure. who are tech savvy and sure. there are those who have little or no knowledge about how to utilize uh, digital gadgets and all of that and so what what what, are, what is the government doing in that very aspect in trying to reach out to these people the market women even bus drivers who do not know how to uh, monitor I mean digital things as long as it has to do with digital they are more like yeah. a novel to them it's um a, a very strange yeah. what is being done in this very aspect are they carried along during the planning and maybe the implementation sure so i, I think i'll start with the last uh, clause okay. they, were, they were carried along during implementation and the planning of the process then going back to the uh, holistic uh, response to that is that you know every person that uses uh, a mobile phone mm can also buy a time with a mobile phone all right they can also recharge at a time using a pin right so is the technology is as simple as that so in terms of um user they ha you have the two we have a two-phase to the application we have the um the admin user module we also have the self-service module you and i can do the self-service want to pay different kind of because i'm going to move my grades to all kind of uh, revenue that's been collected in the state for payments so the convenience of that payment will be there then if you look at the kk the bus drivers and some other market women they have they use whatsapp so they have user if you can operate whatsapp you can also use the system then in terms of engagement um we're also going to be having engagement in the market and location and what have you then for the payment end which is actually if you don't want to do the self-service the payment end we're going to we're going to have agents we've already trained agents so we are also deploying the collateral management what i mean is that the branding items that you put at locations where payments are made so people are also encouraged you go to the location we're going to put kiosk in the market so people can go to that kiosk and make payments so the, those agents in the market is able to collect money and what to do was that the agents um, have to pay my fund their wallets so if they are, if you want fund your wallet you can you're not be able to collect money on behalf of government as you're collecting cash your wallet is in the plate and are going to our transaction uh, transition and uh, uh, tre um, treasure uh, single account which is our TSM model we're trying to build so we have that bridge to handhold people who are not able or who doesn't want to agree by themselves due to any other reasons you know when you say agent it sounds cliche because it's something perhaps sabians are used to what are the modalities in picking the agents who would okay. mount different positions to engage in this very important part of the new government okay so the, the internal revenue service is working close with me to identify various agents there has there are some um agents of um uh, pssp um pssp is uh, the likes of uh, interswitch you know the likes of op you okay. Know, that's free pay. They already have agent that is doing agency banking for them on the street, and the banks also. All the banks have agency banking as well. So that's the model we are incorporating that model into because working with bank and places is the most secured because they have license to do this. So these agents are being profiled. Uh, we have their details. I was sending it to the security agents to also profile them of good character, and they also they've not had issue around the integrity with finance and stuff like that. So as we we get that clearance from the security agency, we we train them and we deploy them to location. So we're also going to publish in our website all the agents their names and their phone number and their details as well and for every of the agents we're going to use we're going to be branding them give them a, brand, a code and also give them a um, shirt and face cap they're going to also be using put uh, banners in their location and also put a number that you call so in case you don't you don't feel comfortable in what is happening they can also reach us because I want to deploy service to some people we also try as much as to control what people do with that but if we get any reports for what we cannot see we'll make sure that uh, we'll deal with it i said so but as uh, but uh, in a in a, in a short in a, sorry uh, to just to uh, give a, a context to it the all the agent that we are going to be using for this process uh, have been profiled okay for that. all right um in terms of floating systems or creating measures working out modalities to achieve a certain objective i'm thinking there is always that via, that means of equally monitoring yes. monitor and control as such things in place that there are modalities contingency plan to maybe if things go south this is what we would do at this very moment if it 
if it's not working to plan this is yes. what we would do yes so so in our release uh, um, documentation our release process or change management process we have um, we we hope for the worst that will happen we also have that so the application we are using we also uh, done a vulnerability penetration test and the rest of them and that's confirmed to be okay i was also engaging independent uh, um, evaluators also look at that in addition to what we have done so far and uh, then in terms of support we have a very good support base we are using okay. the internal revenue service the, the, the IT team are well equipped with knowledge they need at this first page and uh, this is first phase of the our ABIA pay then the um, the, the the consultant we're working with what I mean the, the solution provider we're working with that build the backbone and the is also um, have some lot of, a lot of um, support team then the the source code and the and the um, and the back end support and back end uh, um, holding of the application is actually actually reside with us over here. So we don't have uh, we don't foresee anything that will go wrong with that. If we're you don't mind if I interject, we, we're talking about a, a, a medium that would possibly cluster the fund of the state. Uh, yes, yes. And it's very important that, uh, like you mentioned, the back end and there is enough security in case of a breach because obviously we know that we have. Um, evil elements around who may want to compromise sure. it. Sure. How strong is it? Have you questioned those who created the software to be very sure that such uh, occurrence would not see the light of the day? Yeah, yeah. Um, for, for me, this is what uh, I've been. I have a I have a background in the payment system in the country. Oh, uh, yes. I have a background uh, working for the bank for over fifteen years, and I've done payment across board. I've also gotten involved in so many project around that, including um, the federal government TSA. I was actually representing uh, the banking sector uh, okay. to run TSA. So we are, when we are building this application, I took note of all those things and technology is just evolving. So think about those things and to make sure that we don't have that. So in terms of control, technology mm. control, operational control, the IT control, risk and the rest of them have been taken care of. So and also remember that the payment that is being made, you know, it pay, when you do your processing, the payment that is being made is straight to a bank account and they pass it through a PSSP that has been secured that have all the, uh, the or that been answered by CBN mm. and, and there's a control measures that CBN also put in to monitor what they are doing. So the, in terms of payment, there's no interference on that payment, you know. Well, the processing also, which is assessment kind of the registration, that one is a different thing. But if you don't, if your code does not exist in the payment architecture, it doesn't go. Okay. Then if, um, and you also, you're not, also not able to hack into the application because it resides with the financial uh, systems stability system that's interesting if you're just tuning in it is the platform the pinnacle of all discussions and this morning i have with me right here in the studio isaac chimereze okibo who's a special advisor on internally generated revenue and we've been looking at the policies of the government uh, especially the digital tax system and i mean what is in it for our bands is a big question and that is what we want to demystify on the program this morning now isaac um, yeah. You would agree with me that Abians would be at home with any measure at all the governor and his government is taking to ensure that he shows up uh, the internally generated revenue of the state as to drive home his promises sure. prior to the election and so whatsoever sure. in that aspect sure. is he's doing that would give him the massive support he deserves. Sure. Now we've seen other systems we could call them traditional systems come before now and go we've seen them happen um what is different about this very one what is in it for abians how do they look at it how should they expect this to pan out and what should be their expectations what differs this from what they've always known okay um yeah sure that's a very good uh as a uh, question you know what differs this from the previous uh, application i have my when i came in i have my studies you know this is cutting out the, the other system made provision for middlemen okay so and that brings a lot of uh, uh sleaze in the system it's fraught with a lot of irregularities fraud and stuff like that all reconcilable issues so these are highly sensitive conversation that i shouldn't be having in a 
in a, in a, in a, an open uh, um, all Abians are asking yeah. for is the assurance yeah. that so, this is so now I'm coming, I'm coming to that. yes yeah i'm coming to that so what we do now is i will just provide a straight through process where whatever you pay passes through straight to government sports and you also have a reconciliatory report of what you made so people can question what we have done because it's so open the, the union also also having access to their application and uh, viewing right of what their members are paying how much they're paying and how much they've contributed so that can actually so the, what it means is that the, our collection basically is on the public uh, public domain for people to see what is going on in the state so people can actually query what we're doing based on the results they are getting based on the report they are getting so there's a lot of transparency in this and also running the the introduction of the tsa model is also important here because it moves the money straight to government accounts and uh, that makes a lot of sense to us and also we also brought in the, some welfare uh, angle around it giving people opportunity to access some services like the free medical insurance we're giving to the transport uh, team so transport uh, um, seg segment so if you convenance with what you're supposed to pay for the period of time you must definitely default into enjoying insurance as long as long as you convenance with that so and also the payment model we're trying to bring is to have three kind of payment model for the transporters so you have the daily payments they payment you pay a certain amount fixed amount on a daily basis anytime you come to work and we also monitor your pressure we have a system also to monitor if somebody is operating and you're not paying we also pick you and uh, pick you and also send you the man notice and you need to pay that with some level of uh, fines and fees and that that's also there it appears the governor is uh, turning digital yeah yeah that's how it's supposed to be make life easy so the second one is that you also have the weekly model weekly model you pay a certain amount discounted from the, the amount you pay on a daily basis we also give you a day discount so if there's a cash discount there's also a day discount you know so for the uh, monthly model you also that's the bouquet now so you pay okay. yeah you pay um certain amount for that so it has also come down it come down it so you have like three different payments uh pattern so um that one the number of days you pay for it must also reduce about 22 days or thereabout so that's a very good uh, concept so people will not choose the company where so you give opportunity if you pay for weekly you can run for the whole week nobody disrupts if you pay for monthly which i also encourage them to because it's it's quite a uh, few uh low so you pay for monthly you do your normal business nobody harasses you and stuff like that then if you make your payments you receive an sms alert you receive an email alert then you also have access to scan your card or scan your sticker to see your statement of uh, account as, as it goes okay um before we leave this very discussion especially the digital tax system a lot of us must agree that it is a watershed as long as the state uh, is concerned from time immemorial there is a part of the digital tax system that mentioned the free medical insurance yeah. scheme yeah. insurance, insurance scheme, scheme just to put that yeah. better what is that all about and then how can one really access that okay so uh, what that means is that we are working with uh, other state uh, health insurance agency to to design that model so what it means is that if you're doing a payment if you're doing a weekly payment a daily payment rather so if you pay consistently number of days you work and it's verified so you default to the insurance package so you assess some medical um, some level of medical insurance up to a particular tune of amount so there and the, the contribution is just a minute amount of what you pay because you know it's a, it's a health insurance concept so minute amount of what you pay is moved for your insurance so it's an opportunity and it covers the drivers alone for now we're looking at the drivers or the okay. riders specific, specific to the drivers the uh, then the market we are concluding their own concept today so that we can also announce it to their, their behalf as we have done that so as long as you convenance and you pay without missing you know at the end of the period you will you will you will get further into the insurance you enjoy it so any month you don't uh you don't convenance you don't pay up to expected you lose that of that insurance that's the insurance work. everybody knows that and so just before we go on the break uh, which i proposed for someone who may have defaulted for some time uh, what is the notification more like saying you've not paid for this number of months what is it like no no, no it's, is, not, it's is it not because a month is a is a monthly stuff so you advise them on the on the end of the month so if you convenance so you receive a notification that's based on uh, meeting up the requirements you've been migrated you are you are free to assess insurance for the next one month. what i'm yes. trying to say is this in terms of uh, paying their taxes now yes. there could be people who may not meet up as at a time scale required for them to pay 
a month like you mentioned it has mm. different um okay exactly they don't do it for some months yes. what what is the uh, pattern like trying to tell them you have defaulted come and do this is it going to be militarized you know what i mean no, 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 no. what is the interface going to be like trying to no 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 it's not 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 it's just to let you understand not based on the insurance now yeah. i'm talking about remitting oh, remitting the, oh, the taxes oh, great, great, now great. for those who may not meet up and then it has it has become maybe two three months or thereabout what is the modalities like to remind them is it going to be militarized in terms of uh, coming with um, police or security agencies to harass them okay. to say do this no, if nice. you don't do this this is going to happen to you because it's something we see more often than not in this climb yeah so there, there is uh, there is um, something that the governor said on the day of inauguration he said that uh, he has put an end to the menace of the aburus so there's organized aburu they were doing before they call it enforcement you know we heard a lot of different kind of stories people in other side of that was happening so the governor has put a stop to that and also criminalized aburu terrorizing taxpayers so coming from that background so what we have done is to continue to hold down on that principle and that is by the governor then we're running into a digital enforcement or a digital monitoring process and compliance so what we do is that we have a way of picking somebody who is a, a, a trader or somebody who is a transporter who hasn't paid for this and have also have a way of sending you a demand notice and getting you to pay that money we're not going to use any kind of force or form to people to, to embarrass people no that's not going to happen also remember that we're working closely with the agent with the union and the union are driving the process because there's something in for them as well the union as a whole the governor has also been mindful enough to also give that uh, concept there's an open thing so and they were all excited that they're going to be driving the process and also make sure their members have a uh, compliance and the way case may be so in terms of our compliance thing we're trying to do which is the physical compliance thing we're going to build their members are also going to be part of i mean member of the, of the uh, union as well part of that team that will run that well interesting conversation we're having so far this morning on the platform the pinnacle of all discussions but we need to go up down hedge to or shouldn't we haven't been talking for close to 30 minutes now so we okay. go on a very short break when we return i will turn to isaac and ask him the, the treasury single account what is that all about stay with us thank you for staying with the flow of guts and state flow 94.9 fm i've been speaking with uh, the special advisor to the governor on uh, internally generated revenue talking about isaac chimereze okibo and he's live in the studio with me thank you gentlemen for still being here thank you okay and we are looking at the um governor T's igl strategies and we've looked at the digital tax system and we want to turn our attention to the treasury single account now but before I, I do that i would love to ask you this question it involves the okay. stoppage of the transport levies okay. as it recommenced yeah with the launch and the eventual um stakeholders uh, town hall revenue town hall meeting okay so that's a uh, giving the approval of the governor to commence so it is now up and running mm -hmm. yes and we've issued letter to the uh, transports and the market you know to form them formally that this process has started okay so now to the real deal the treasury single okay. account we okay. know that it's common because the federal Five government months, are yeah. equally operating on this what yeah. we don't really know is the success rate yeah. if it has lived up to the hype and the expectations and here we are and they okay. staring us in the face here in the state but on the other hand why did the governor elect for the treasury single account yeah so um you know you know the governor is someone that's uh, gotten that was a professional from the financial sector and he got to the peak of this and decided to come to leave that uh, very juicy office he decided to come and uh, um, work and support the state from the past 12 years he had been pushing for that and thank god he came now so um traditional accounts is just a very if you want to keep your head cool and you want to take yourself out of troubles mm. you know i also want to also open up what you're doing the treasury single account is a major thing to do so basically it's just a, it's just a concept to manage finances that come into the state you know to funnel all the all the revenue all the income all the um yeah, all the expectations from the government in terms of uh, IGR into a single 
process. So what it means is that every agency in the state that is revenue generating, you know, uh, need to channel their fund into the TSA concept, into a single account where all this money will be funded out and under they will be seeing the money that's coming in and also the expenditure part of it. So TSA for me is just a two a two uh, two prong uh, item. First of first one is the the collection, which is the remittance, what comes in, in they come into through a single process into one single pipe or single funnel. Then the expenditure also move when you want to add your expenditure, you also move from that collection you're doing to an expenditure account or move it out. So you see you have just two means of uh, money coming in and money going out. However, when you're running TSA uh, um, account, you know, every banks are supposed to be part of that, you know, then money that goes into each of the bank as collecting bank also has to be moved into one single account, which becomes that expenditure account. So what the federal government did in there, I know you may mention federal bank is that they, they, they excluded some agencies, some federal government revenue agencies yeah. in, the, in the TSA. But what we are doing here is holistic. Every government uh, revenue agency, so the government has given us mandate to make sure that that goes on, goes on, um, uh, goes live by first uh, first of September. Also working day and night to make sure to put that into place because uh, what we met here, well, we didn't meet anything really. So I'm not trying to sound political. You know, we're trying to build a background where we can even start. But it's a hard job and we need to get it done. Very tough, but we have to get it done for the sake of the others. We can also see what we can use to develop the state as well. So we wish. So the TSA concept is a very good concept that you know that's bringing our finances to the front of the India and they will see this is what the governor is making. They can make their demand even beyond what the governor has said he would do. I mean, in this aspect, I don't think the, you have your work well cut out. Um, <laughs> still you. staying with the TSA yeah. now, it is easier said than done, like you yeah. mentioned, trying yeah. to cluster the state's revenue into one yes. very box. And yes. then it is argued, basically, that while it's easier to gather all of them together, it's difficult to take away from there, especially in funding government uh, policies or government um, work infrastructure development and across the border is basically where to use them you know that yes. it is difficult to still take from that very pool and it will stall government uh, drive all around is it a concern you share in or you think it doesn't hold water no of course you know um, there, there should be some level of um uh, insinuations around what everybody tends to do but I just what my, my comment is that I think we should be giving some chance to even implement this uh, if we're not getting it right we can actually be called to order okay uh, let's talk about something which happened not too long ago yesterday okay. it was said that um, people in at Ariara traders and at Ariara market protested over allocation of shops to them obviously yes. may not be uh, a direct effect of the current government but this is where we are and the, the the decision lies in front of the governor at this very moment what is being done to dissuade the angry traders at our area market and what is equally being done to ensure that they are given a lease of life going forward and their demands are met okay so um that's what just happened yesterday that was less than 24 hours ago and um the governor mandated that that should, we should look into into that. Um, so um, we are doing that. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing some meetings and some visitations. And uh, I'm sure that when we take a decision on how it's going to be handled, it's also be made public. Okay. Um, b before we open up the phone lines, I'm about opening up the phone lines now so we can hear from our bands. I'm sure they would have questions. Maybe those I yeah. couldn't really ask, they may have to ask as well. And then, um, since I have you right here in the studio, I would okay. love uh, that you clear the air. There were some stories brandished across the media that mm -hmm. you were laid off by the Anambra state government over corrupt practices yeah. and all of that. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, does it hold water? Is it something you feel you would love to react to? Very interesting uh, comments. I'm sure you also saw the response of the state government in that regard. But it's interesting that you are here and that it will be better to hear from the horses, Mark, we, we, they, they say in English. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it, there's, there's a horse. There's, there's, there's no single horse as well. So that communication that was given by the private to the governor on media publicity just answers all the questions. You are simply not saying anything about this. That's I mean, it. it's about you. It's not about the government. You're only an appendage of the government. What we are saying is that I was I was sacked I was uh, I was uh, I got involved in uh, foreign practices. Is that true? And there was a is that, is that, that, true? that was a response to that effect as well. Is that true? That what happened? That you were involved in corrupt practices, which that, informed nobody has, the decision. Nobody has, 
Was this condition of what? The laying off for yeah. Manambra State. But you saw in that response I was given, you saw my resignation letter to the governor of the state who graciously uh, employed me to work for him. You saw it, right? But you also saw that responses in terms of uh, the allegation about the fraud. So nobody has brought anything to show. Are you that. simply saying that is only um, your your opponent scoring cheap political I points? I don't have any opponents. So I'm not interested in what anybody wants to do. But if anybody have any case and prove that case, then we can start discussing about it. Interesting. Thank you. As you're just uh, dodging all the questions here. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not dodging. Very though, smart right? gentleman. Uh, time to open up the phone lines. It's been very fascinating, hasn't it? Zero eight zero eight one eight two six nine. Nine four nine zero eight one one six zero five two nine four nine. You could equally send a message to zero nine zero six five one zero eight two eight nine. It might interest you to know that we are live on Facebook. So go to facebook.com forward slash flow nine four nine FM and drop your comment beneath. We would give it a looking in before we call it time on the program this morning. Let's start taking your calls as quickly as possible. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Wisdom. It is good to have you join the conversation. Kindly tell us your name and where you are calling us from. Go ahead. I want to use this opportunity to really thank the governor, our prophet, Governor, Governor Alex Soti, Chairman, for his freedom he has really given us during this period he's planning the digital economy or digital transition of ticketing. I'm a Cheke operator, and for the first time in my life, I started using Cheke for me to stay home without paying tickets. This is the first time. So I want to thank the Governor for that. I also want to thank him for not allowing the doubts that have been disturbing us in this Abia state for many years. To continue their disturbances. I want to thank him again for that. So, on the situation issue, I pray that with the wisdom they've come up with, that God will make it to be successful. Amen. We are ready, we are, we are willing to be part of it and do whatever they say we should do. And for, as for, as for what I say to every appointee of the government, every appointee of the government, don't throw the part of the PDP appointees. <laughs> I, I would love you to react without having to uh, throw punches now. I, I mean, that's not necessary, is it? I'm not throwing punches. I'm just breathing and advice. That's okay. So Where just wrap up quickly. You should not be arrogant, please. You shouldn't be inhuman. You shouldn't be greedy. Thank you. Please. Okay. All of them, all of them, thank not you. only the man on the studio. I'm not against. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank advice. you. Thank, thank you very much. In terms of the payment, I'm sure you know you will start very soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think. It's not starting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he understands that too. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my it, man in the house. It is good to have you join the conversation. Kindly tell us your name. I'm I'm calling from Omar. Go ahead. Good morning, my great analyst. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, uh, that's okay. the essay to the governor on internally generated revenue. So he's not an analyst. Oh, he's, uh, good he's morning, a stakeholder. Sir. Go ahead. Good morning. Okay, I really want to commend this uh, present administration. Thank this you. great action and move they have taken. As your state have suffered severe losing because of uh, all these uh, leakages existing in the government sector so but i know this to promote transparency as it has to do with government uh, revenue and it will promote uh, a responsible way of funding revenue so kudos to you for this very great move Thank but you. i pray and please please let this be extended to every sector you shouldn't just stop with uh, the market people yeah. and uh, that of the transport. Okay. okay. It should be expected to every. Wrap up support. your thoughts now. Wrap up your thoughts. The salary of uh, workers, workers yes. also be yes. uh, incorporated in this. Yes. It is possible. Yes. So there will be steady stream of yes. payment. Okay. And exactly. everybody okay. will be happy. Thank you. I'm very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very Thank you for your comments. Zero eight zero eight one eight two six nine four nine or zero eight one one six zero five two nine four nine. Good morning. Good morning, Wizzy. Yeah, good to have you. Tell us your name and where you are calling us from. Who's 
Good morning. I guess I want to congratulate you people for the great job given to you guys by the governor. Thank you. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm trying to see the word I will put it. Okay. Please, please, let um, you guys be able to make sure that you carry this KK and the traders along with whatever things you are doing. No, sure. I'm not trying to just oppose or insult anybody when it comes to going digital. Yeah. Most of these KK people, they don't know what it means to be paying electronically or doing this apart from getting someone they like the way or part of other ways, other situations yeah. as in collecting money. Whereas I was among the people that initiated by the previous government to stop this uh, abuse of getting and low and way that the manner of they were being they have been uh, have been going after people that have been offending the rules of the government or government principles. Mm -hmm. So I pray that you guys will make sure that you will carry these people along. The market people, a woman, an old woman that is selling, uh, that is selling Pepe. those uh, in, in Oriuba mm -hmm. or in Obani, mm -hmm. you never know anything of paying full electronical yes. and doing this in the And yeah. an old person that is driving KK may not be known. And most times, their unions will not be carrying them along. Mm -hmm. You know why we don't have the, the, the KK union? They are not strong except the ones in our back. Yes. So if platform for you guys to be meeting, you should make sure that they exactly. know. Then finally, Alex Roti should do away with press fingers. People should be yes. able to criticize what they are doing to not get it right constructively. Yeah. People calling them okay. that most of the PDP and most of the other party people that have migrated to become um, innocent before Alex Roti. He should be aware of that. Wrap up your thoughts now. Who say man no day? Uh, my brother. Yeah, just wrap up. Okay, he should be aware of these fake singers that will come on air, even those that are going to radio stations that will be telling us, they are all speaking for okay. appointment and comfort. Okay. Thank you very much for your own comments this morning. We're still taking your calls. Um, let's take this very one. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. Excellent. Uh, I guess you, you, uh, excellent to you. Okay. Remain listed, my brother. Thank you. Yeah. You, uh, you are not a successful person. You don't need to advise a successful person. Mm. There is no story. There is no hero without a story. Yeah. You people, you know, you know, all others know what is the counter. I always say that in other cases, where you see a high mortality rate from this uh, adon, um, um, political party for PDP, you, you, you don't. You are simply not reacting to. You are not reacting to. Okay. Thank you very much. Basically, I think you've made your point, even though it's an an innuendo, not reacting to what we've discussed. Before I turn to the phone lines and look at the comments on Facebook, I had to okay. uh, jot down something. Rules of engagement. We must yeah. agree, like I said earlier, I'm reiterating, it's a new omen. Yeah. Uh, it's a good a new omen, and it's a good one if you ask me. But then, because of having gotten used to the modus operandi of the past administrations, it may look a little weird at yeah. the start. I hope sure. that the government and those who would be driving this very new course would take it mild and moderate with the people until they get accustomed to this sure. very new initiative. Sure. So that, that's the plan. Um, like I said, we don't expect so much from uh, people in terms of compliance in the first uh, one, two months. Um, but you see, how easy it is it? You will not push them in the next three, four months. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> so we don't expect so much from them, but we know that people will surprise us. Okay. Uh, they'll surprise us for good. Taking the course still. Good morning. Good morning. Name, it, location, go ahead. Ikechuku, calling from Umaya. Okay. It's Ike, Ikechuku Okorochuku. See, for the um, e payment for this revenue mobilization, I would suggest that every trader, motorist, to a team number, account number generated for that person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that we can have track and yes. know the compli level of com compliance yes. and statistic of your revenue generation. Excellent. Yes, sir. 
that's what I want to Thank you. Thank you. It seems to much. have an idea of what we've already done. Taking your calls to 0808-1826949 or 08116052949. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Go ahead. Yeah. My name is Oscar. I'm from Go ahead. Please, uh, please, I want to remind the judge here that uh, the government definitely has paid civil service military. Well, I'm I must say that uh, on a personal hello, hello, are you are you listening? Are you, are you listening? He's obviously not listening because I have not been able to pick anything from what he has said so far. So I had wanted him to start again. Obviously, the network. Um, okay uh, let's look at the comments on facebook why still keeping an eye on the phone line this one is from uh, zeka Ihuez, and he says good morning gentlemen in the studio watching live from umwa here he says i'm urging and pleading with uh, well-meaning and patriotic abians to put hands together and ensure the new administration of dr alex so to overcome all obstacles and challenges i pray that god give strength and uh this comment i can't see the rest of the same but i think you've gotten what he said there yeah. ambassador solomon bright says greetings gentlemen in the house this is a new abia i must say thanks to our amiable governor for coming up with he this new system of payment another person obong Akbesu says abia state must work and gospel street radio says good one kudos to abians kano chimdi says our very own Okay, well, let's take this very call. Good morning. Good morning. Name and location? Hello, please. Uh, my name is Macy from Omaha. Go ahead, Macy. I'm a state pensioner. I beg the governor to be the member of a bank. God okay. will God will carry up, 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 up to the highest level. Amen. 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 I'm sure you are part of the yes. government. And so if yeah. I have to re echo that very sentiment in a yeah. different perspective, what is the governor doing to defray the backlog of uh, pensions and gratuities or that beings in this aspect? Because it's, it's still part of what sure, will show sure. up the revenue of the state when there is money in circulation in the hands of uh, Abians, they would go into the market, get involved in transactions, and then the, the KK people and the traders would have something to remit to the government as part their taxes. What is it doing to uh, put smiles on their faces? Yeah, sure. Um, the, the promises he made is keeping it. Um, there's a committee that is set up to handle this. We also want to make sure that we pay people who are real people. We don't want to pay non-existing pensioners. So verification is ongoing. Um, I'm a member of the com that committee and today we're inaugurating the committee for those verif the verification. It's going to happen by uh, 12 p.m. I thought he had been in motion before now, uh, towards the back end of July. No, no, no. What the, we ask the uh, local government pension and the state pension is to provide us with the evidence of, uh, with the list of all the pensioners in the state, verified one. So that's what we ask. And that, that document is still, they're still working on it to get it across to us. So, but the committee that also do the verification is being set up today and it's made up by the civil servant as well and as, as based on the law uh, what they've been operating before now but once we pay real people we don't want to just be uh, paying money to put that on exist it would be nice if the government would expedite action in that aspect because it involves people now doesn't it uh, let's take this call good morning hello hello good to have you join us uh, good, good morning sir good to have you uh, it's Mary, it's Mary, Mary from Umaya. you're welcome uh, i know i'm a civil servant what I please, my brother, I want to ask whether uh, what you the bread is, is that a life? Okay, uh, uh, that's a, okay. It's, it's a clear swipe, isn't it? I don't know who he's, he's referring to, and I don't want to know as long as this program is concerned. Because of time, we have to uh, pack our baggage as to leave the studio. And one more shot at this. What is the essence of the digital tax system, and how do you think it will impact on the revenue drive of the state? And in the long run impact the ordinary Abians on the street who do not have okay, so, affluence. So, so, so in a nutshell, the essence of the digital revenue uh, process is to create transparency, to generate uh, wealth for Ndiabia, 
and also to to do a lot of things that tends to develop our state and bring economic prosperity to the state. Speaking to the same. people too, in terms of compliance, what do you have to tell them? It's yeah, your chance to equally yes. talk to them as to... Sure, um, we keep on pleading with them to comply and also challenge us with their compliance and see what they will do. But yeah, in the nutshell, uh, we are in good terms with people um, the streets and they are willing to do what they need to do. Thank you. Okay, someone is asking a question which I think we've already responded to, uh, asking of the method uh, which would be used in enforcing <laughs> the no, it's not. It's not the same. But we, are, we are doing more of a digital enforcement now and also want to drive compliance. Nobody's going to harass anybody on the street. Okay, this is where we are at the moment and uh, the government, according to the uh, special advisor to the governor on internally generated revenue, talking about uh, Isaac Chimereze. Okibo, who I've been speaking with for almost an hour now. It is time for us to go. Thank you very much uh, for being part of this very program this morning. And we Thank wish you. the state government all the very best, and especially those aspects that would bring uh, the state sanity and um, aid in achievement of the overall objective. Thank you. Let me equally thank you, you who uh, you've been watching us on Facebook. Thank you. The call is still coming, but we cannot do more than what we've done already. The comments are in our inbox. Thank you very much for being part of the platform this morning. It will make a return, same time, same station next week. Thank you to those in the studio, Stanko and Charles, who are behind the visuals you are seeing on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you to Ginika Oloha and to my producer, Samson. Easy. Stay strong. Thank you and have a lovely Friday ahead. <laughs>